what's your initial reaction to that, Todd? Well, look, disappointed, of, of course. So, um, I think we said last week that you're never going as well as you think you are and never going as bad as you think you are either. So, um, oh, look, I thought it was a pretty good response. I thought they were very good. Um, obviously a proud, successful club that wanted to make a statement and, and did. So, you know, full credit to them. They made that statement pretty early on, so you're playing catch-up from, from pretty much the start. Did that make it difficult? Because every time you got momentum and were able to get a couple of goals, you were still down on the scoreboard, so I guess you were using a lot of energy just to try to stay in the game. Yeah, maybe. I thought their start, once you know they dominated all areas, contested ball, hard ball, it's hard to get back into the game if you can't win the ball. And you know, Most often than not, they won the first use and went there to see on their end. So... Um, yeah, look, I don't think the scoreboard, once they get in front, I don't think it affects how you play. If you're consistent and you, you keep driving in on what you want, eventually the scoreboard will take care of itself. And, you know, we couldn't play, we couldn't get our game going well enough for, for anywhere near long enough. And, um, you know, we, we were really never a chance, it never looked likely. Is that something that they do against you, or did you just have a, have a bad day where it was one of those games where nothing went right for you? Oh, no, full credit to the opposition. Um, you know, I thought they came with a real mindset, were harder than us, um, wanted to win the ball first and, um, you know, if you've got the ball in your hands, you're a fair chance to, to be successful. So um, we couldn't get our hands on the ball, couldn't get it forward. When we did, we sort of scored, but oh, it was too little from too few. That hardness of the contest has been a great strength of yours all, all season, really. Is it something where you finally come up against a team that is willing and, and able to match you in, the, in that area, probably? Oh, maybe we'll have to look at the tape, but um, look, to our guys' credit, they've been very good for uh, a few weeks, but clearly they weren't at their best today and, um, you know, would have learned a few lessons. So, you know, we're, we're under no illusions. We're still trying to grow and improve and, um, you know, it's highlighted some areas we've got to get better at. It's round nine, so there's a long way to, way to go. Do you learn a lot out of a, out of a game like that? I think, you lose more, I think you learn more out of games where things don't go to plan and where things don't work well, um, it's a good chance to learn about your group a little bit more. So, um, you know, sometimes I think if you play sometimes against teams that are, maybe aren't going as well and sometimes talent can, you know, cover up a few cracks. Was there one thing that stood out to you where it just didn't work for you today because of something that they were able to hold you up in that next time you're playing them you'd be able to hope to turn around? Not really. I think it clearly came down to they were harder. They were just harder than us. Um, bullied us around the ball and, um, you know, as a result, the ball more often than not was in their front half a lot. So, um, you know, if you've beaten in the contest, it's hard, to, it's hard to compete in a game. Like you said, they were able to go forward a lot. I thought you, your back line stood up reasonably well. I thought Mascos did about as well as you could do on, on Liam Ryan, given the opportunities they had. Um, what, what do you think of the effort the back line did? Probably their tools, you know, they kept them pretty quiet overall too. Yeah, look, in the end, it was probably weighted numbers. Um, but, yeah, I thought, you know, our tall defenders did a good job. I thought Jace was fantastic, um, you know, under siege at times. But, you know, some of his efforts and the courage to come off his opponent to help his teammates at times as well. Um, but, you know, it's hard when the ball's generally from a stoppage or a clearance or a contested situation. It's coming your way all the time. Um, you know, they never really got going. So, um, couldn't get settled and... Yeah, they're too good. Um, have you come through unscathed? And the positive is that Ashton got through the game, Steve Berry got through the reserve, so you're getting getting close to full strength again. Yeah, oh, look, uh, health-wise we're pretty good. I don't think we've lost any today. Um, and yeah, Ash got through, Steve Berry got through, but you know, our, um, our young guys in our reserve team was sensational. Um, you know, down once, I think it was six goals to one at one stage, and then, you know, really got to work. and, and Yeah, and really, but they played really well under siege for a young group um, and there's some good performances. So um, you put your hand up and you give yourself a chance to play next week. So we'll have a look at that. Back home next week, East Perth, they're building some momentum now. I think they've won three in a row, so it's another big test. Yeah, another challenge for us. So obviously, um, you know, they'll be well organised. They've got a lot of strength around the ball, so it'll be a, a real challenge for us. Is it important to bounce back? Obviously, after you lost to Swan Jolly in the season, the response couldn't have been any better. Is it important to do something similar? It's always um, important to respond, um, you know, to, to poor effort. So, you know, you, 
I don't think form has a lot to do with your effort and ability to compete and that was probably what really let us down especially early today was you know we we went up for the fight and didn't compete or um, bring enough effort um, and to Subi's credit they, they were much better than us. Thank you. All good.